Hi, my name is Zach Palmquist. I'm the Director of Engineering for Safe and Sound Security. And today we're gonna to talk about warehouse security installation. What are some of the common problems that arise when planning a warehouse surveillance system? And how does this dictate the type of equipment that should be used? The two biggest issues when planning a warehouse security system is the sheer size of the warehouse. A lot of our camera cable links can't be over 328 feet. A lot of warehouses are a lot longer than 328 feet. So what we have to do is get creative on the network side of things and create what we refer to as IDF locations. These are basically remote areas where we can install PoE switches, kind of a midway point between one side of the building and the other. That way we are able to run cameras locally to that switch and make the connection back to the head end. The other issues that we run into is the sheer height of the facility. If we're trying to capture images below, a lot of the times we have to drop the camera down from the ceiling. Uh, things that we have to worry about in these instances, are you gonna have forklifts driving through here? A lot of forklifts raise up their forks with packages on there and they don't see the camera and they run into it. So we gotta get really creative about where to put cameras, how low to hang them. Can I integrate my warehouse RFID system with my security system? What can that do for me? You can absolutely incorporate your badge reader system with your security system. The biggest integration that we get asked a lot to do is they don't wanna give out alarm codes to all the employees. That's only really for management. So if you have employees that are coming into the facility prior to management, what we can do is their card becomes a disarm for the alarm. So they can come up to the card reader at the door, present their credential, our RFID or card access system will then tell the alarm to disarm. We can even get really creative and say, I only want the warehouse to disarm and I wanna leave the office admin area armed so that they can't go in there. At which entry point should I consider installing access control? What type of equipment and credentials do you recommend for each? You should be installing access control in employee entry areas, meaning from the exterior of the facility into the interior of the facility. Any place where there's high dollar items where you want to limit certain employees to have access to that area. Um, electrical closets and network rooms are another one where we put them a lot of the time. You only want valid people to enter these areas. Another place that I see it a lot is from warehouse to the admin area or executive area within the building, you really want to be able to limit certain groups of employees to only be able to have access to certain areas. If I'm off-site, can I still monitor what's happening at the warehouse? How does that work? You can absolutely monitor. You could be sitting on a beach in Mexico, check out your phone and see what's happening at your facility. And this doesn't only mean cameras. We have apps for access control. We have apps for the alarm systems as well. So you have full control at your fingertips wherever you go. If you'd like to learn more about warehouse security systems, feel free to reach out to us.